Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted series. And as you can see, we're driving the awesome Martin DB5 today, from the movie Skyfall. At least I think it's from Skyfall. It's a relatively new movie, I actually watched it and I really enjoyed it. Something about it I really enjoyed it. It's not the car, I mean, the car was nice and all, but the movie I really liked it. Lots of action, lots of awesomeness, including the awesome Martin. So yeah, this is a great car. I mean, just look at this. Drifting is amazing, the sound's amazing, and it's an Austin Martin after all. I mean, all Austin Martins are great. Oh, and by the way, Austin Martin is celebrating their 100th birthday. Congratulations, Austin Martin. I don't know if you guys are, I don't know if Austin Martin's watching this, but still, congratulations, Austin Martin, for building cars for 100 years and building this beautiful little beast. Beautiful little car. Even in blue, it looks fantastic. So yeah, this is 007's car. And I love it. Let's look at it. The sail lights are nice too. It doesn't actually have guns in it and a shield protector and stuff like that. It doesn't have all that, but still, this is a great car. I really wish they added that. Like, you could speed by cars and shoot them. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But you can't. That's too bad. And, I, and I'm fine with it, because this is the fact that it doesn't have guns and whatever, and whatnot, uh, it doesn't really matter, because this car is beautiful, and that sort of compensates for the for the lack of, lack of guns and stuff. Whoa! Well, I've got ram chassis now. Anyway, let me slow down a little so I can put this on. Oh my, look at this thing. This thing's beautiful at nighttime. You can look at this. This is beautiful. They even colored the headlights yellow. Made the uh, headlight logo yellow because back in the old days, instead of the headlights being completely white, they would actually be yellow, slightly yellowish, which is a nice little detail. I've sped by like th three or four cops already, maybe two or three cops, and I have not been pulled over. Well, you guys are probably going to correct me and say, Derp, you passed by less than that. So anyway, yeah, I'm not getting arrested. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go by and ram them. Oh, here's one. There you go. Police chase. Listen to this. See? They don't even say what kind of car this is. They just say, stop it containing a sports car. Really? I got a feeling that EAA sort of focused on the details of the car and then they just sort of, I don't know, forgot about the police chatter. The realistic police chatter. I'm gonna hide in here. I'm gonna show you this little hiding spot that I thought of. Here you go. Jump up here. Well, my wheel's on the ground. And you can just hide over here. Shut off your engine, and then the cops will never find you. That's a nice little hiding spot. Whenever I find a new hiding spot, I will show it to you while I'm driving the car, and then I have ultimate speed pack jackpot, jackpot found. I already know where all the jackpots are located, but I haven't purchased the ultimate speed pack, because, you know, it's not really worth it, because, sure, you get some awesome cars, but it's not worth it, in my opinion. You get much nicer cars in this, uh, in this pack. Now, don't go hating on me saying, oh, you hate the Ultimate Speed Pack. I like the Ultimate Speed Pack, but it's just, you know, the cars are sort of basic. I want cars that are a little more interesting. And those cars from the, from the, packs, that are, from the packs that I have are fantastic. This car is fantastic, and the Austin Martin DBS, which I'm going to be driving next, is also fantastic. I should have driven the... I should have driven the uh, Most Wanted car first, but, you know, I decided to drive this car, because this car... It's a little more fancy than this, a little bit more unique than the GT500. My god, this thing sounds amazing. I'm just gonna shut up so you can hear this thing.
And you know, it doesn't sound like an Aston Martin V12 Vantage. It just sounds like an Aston Martin. It sounds like an old Aston Martin, which is really cool. So yeah, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.